A drill stem test DST, is a procedure to determine the productive capacity of a hydrocarbon reservoir. DSTs are typically performed on exploration wells, and are often the key to determining whether a well has found a commercial hydrocarbon reservoir. Pressure of the reservoir is often at its highest point during a DST. The reservoir fluids may contain hydrogen sulfide, so these tests can carry considerable risk for rig personnel. As well control is of utmost importance, carrying out a DST, with an electrical submersible pump, requires a BOP can. The BOP can, provides a means of sealing the ESP power cable, with a penetrator to create a pressure barrier. The BOP can, provides a cylindrical housing, to close and seal the blowout preventer pipe rams around, to complete the pressure barrier with the well annulus. Here we can see the flow head. The flow head is used in well tests, as a temporary replacement for the Christmas tree, that would be installed, if the well is completed in the future. The flow head is at the top of the well, and controls flow, in and out of the well. The flow head consists of four gate valves. These are, the master valve, a flow wing valve, a kill wing valve, and the swab valve. The flow head has a swivel, that connects to the landing string of the DST. The flow head, is connected to the choke and kill line hoses. The BOP can is made up to the landing string, and has an optional fluted hanger, for landing in the production casing hanger way or bushing. During periods of the well production during the DST, the flow is through the master valve, and the flow wing valve, then through a flexible hose which is connected to a choke manifold. The choke manifold regulates the well pressure, prior to processing the well fluid with the surface well testing equipment. For well kill and during well control, the flow wing valve is closed. The pipe rams on the BOP are closed, to provide a seal on the annulus between the casing and the DST tubing. Kill fluid is pumped from the mud tanks, through the open kill wing valve of the flow head, down the DST tubing, and circulated back up through the annulus. The BOP can, has a shoulder larger than the main body, to prevent pump out of the DST string. In instances where loss of control is inevitable, the shear rams of the BOP can be closed, to shear and seal off the DST landing string, above the BOP can. UMS Flowwell provide BOP can systems to suit both onshore and offshore BOP installations. To be able to provide the correct system, the following information is generally required. Size of the BOP pipe rams. The size, grade, weight per foot, and thread connection for the landing string and DST tubing. BOP stack and wellhead dimensions. Casing hanger and weigher bushing dimensions for landing a temporary hanger if required. 